Hey, what's up guys? KSK here. Welcome back to this video. This is the first look at Ubuntu 21.04 Beta. Now, in this video, I am going to talk about everything about Ubuntu 2021. So make sure to watch the video until the end without missing anything. And don't forget to subscribe and consider clicking the bell button to get notified of the latest videos. Let's get started. Now before talking about the features of Ubuntu 21.04, by the time of recording this video, I am running the development build or daily build of Ubuntu 21.04. So one of the features that I will be showing you in a moment will be included or removed in the stable release. So what's new in Ubuntu 21.04? If you are coming from Ubuntu 20.04 LTS or 2010, you won't find a much difference in terms of visual improvements. Now let's start with the GNOME desktop environment. Now every year with the new release of Ubuntu that features a brand new GNOME desktop, but this year it's gonna be the opposite. The new release of Ubuntu may not be going to use the GNOME 40 as a default desktop environment, which is sort of a bummer. The developers of Ubuntu seem to be as skeptical of implementing the half-baked version of GNOME 40 into this release. Now, due to a lot of changes, Ubuntu developers needed a more time to polish and implement into the system. GNOME 40 brings a plenty of changes that introduces a brand new design, newer system animations, and all new GTK4 framework brings a lot of changes to the table which is a boon for application developers. So Ubuntu 2021 is going to ship with the same GNOME 3.38 desktop environment. According to some Reddit users, Ubuntu 21.04 might feature a redesigned installer menu which is simple and elegant. The installer simplifies the easiest way to install or repair Ubuntu on your PC or laptop. Now, along with that, the all-new installer has completely written using a Dart programming language, which sounds interesting. Now, as of now, the beta release doesn't seem to have the new design implemented yet, and I expect it should feature in the stable release. In Ubuntu 21.04, all your home directories will become private. This is a minor change to the permissions. With Ubuntu 21.04, everything inside the home directories is going to be a private, meaning all the home directories will no longer be set to 755 permission, instead it should set to 750 permission, which means only the user has read, write, and execute permissions, and for the group members has read and execute permissions, and for others would have a zero permissions. Now this doesn't seem to be an important, but it adds an extra privacy and security to the user's home directories. Now the development build doesn't include a kernel 5.11 yet, but it's been said that the Ubuntu 21.04 stable release might ship with kernel 5.11. The all-new kernel 5.11 brings a support for USB 4, PCIe Express 6.0, a support for a car share power supply, and more. Now keep in mind, these are not an exciting feature to the end user unless if you are having a specific hardware in your computer to take an advantage of this kernel. Now as of now, the beta version of Ubuntu is getting tested with kernel 5.10 LTS release. Now, the upcoming Ubuntu 2021 will come with Python 3.9 as pre-installed, which brings a huge changes to the language. Now, this update includes a faster release schedule, a performance boost, as well as introduces a brand new string functions, which seem interesting to test out. Now, along with that, some other language improvements include a dictionary union operators and more consistent stable internal APIs. Now, the other feature should include the latest version of GNOME native applications as available, such as the Thunderbird Mail and Firefox browser. 
Also, Ubuntu 2104 is going to feature a Valent as the default display server, and the XARC session is still available that can be accessed from the login screen. And these are some of the brand new features that I have encountered in this build. I hope when they roll out the stable release, we'll get to see more features and improvements. Now, Ubuntu 2021 is going to have a support for 9 months. If you're using Ubuntu 2004 LTS release, I would recommend staying with that and this update is not a major release in terms of everything. And lastly, Ubuntu 2104 is going to be released in April 2021. And that's pretty much it guys, I hope you liked this video. If you do, then don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to see more videos like this and get notified by hitting the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, it's been KS Grail, I'll catch you in my next one. Peace.